had a dream the night before we went to the Goodwill bins that I would find this one brand and I found it. Stay tuned to see what it is and all the other cool stuff we got. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kang, and we are the, the Five, Five Resellers. Resellers. Welcome, and welcome back to our subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad you're here. We got a lot of stuff today, 37 pounds from the Goodwill outlet, and we're gonna try to squeeze it all into this one video, and we're gonna try to go through it, but we've got a lot of great things, so please stay tuned. Yeah, and at the very end, we'll tell you what Kang manifested in his dreams that we would find. Okay, so we're going to start off with something really nice. It's this wedding dress that we found. So it's by the brand Lulu's, which is an online dress shop. And they sell mostly like bridesmaids and like prom dresses and things like that. But they also sell some wedding dresses. And what's nice is that it they have, you know, regular sizing. This may have been altered, but it may not have. So we'll provide measurements, but I think... People might be looking online for wedding dresses, especially if you can have a big, you know, party and things like that. They might be looking for something kind of cheap. Yeah. So we do sell all of these things on eBay and Poshmark, if mm -hmm. you're wondering. But if you see anything you like, you can definitely reach out to us and we'll cut you a, a, a direct okay. deal. So our information will be on in the description below. Mm -hmm. And this next piece lululemon we so, love finding lululemon yeah so these are just some running shorts and they should go for between 20 to 30 dollars on poshmark and ebay yeah that logo was pretty faded but mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to sell it yeah okay so this next one is a west point sweatshirt and so i had heard i was watching some youtube videos and they were talking about how gen z and college students high school students Everyone wants to be wearing these college sweatshirts where it's kind of plain with just the, the name of the school. And it doesn't really matter which school, like you don't even have to go to that school, which I don't really understand, but okay. And anyway, this was really soft. It's cheapy mm -hmm. in reverse weave, so that should be pretty good. Yep. Next is this Marmot jacket. Yeah, and Marmot is a pretty expensive kind of outdoor. It, they make you know, ski thing, snowboarding. This is a fleece lined sweatshirt. So hopefully we'll be able to get about 30 
dollars for it. Let's see. We've got these pair of Converse All Stars. Mm -hmm. And these were in pretty good condition, so I picked them up. Converse should sell around um, twenty dollars. Yeah. And if you don't already know what that looks like, we'll go ahead and show it. But I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Converse looks like. Yeah. Another pair of shoes we got were these Nike Fit Soles. And they need a little bit of cleaning up, but we'll show it to you real quick. Mm -hmm. And I think they're pretty nice. I feel like we can probably get a good profit on them. Next, we found this J. Jill dress. And this is from their Wherever collection, which is supposed to be kind of wrinkle resistant, easy to throw on to wear anywhere. And so it's somewhat comparable to Chico's Travelers line. So we picked that up because we've heard that that line for J. Jill sells pretty well um, compared to just regular J. Jill. Yeah. Next, we've got this Wrangler jean shorts. I thought these were perfect for summer. They are such like a mom jean short and <laughs> mom jeans are really in right now really trendy so um i figured that if someone wanted to distress distress them that would be good these would be the perfect pair of jeans for that next we've got this zara from the trafalgar collection and it's just a um swiss dot pattern um with some embroidery at the top so i thought that was really nice and zara sells pretty consistently for us not very high, like we'll only get maybe $15 for this, but you know, if we paid about $2 for it, two into 15, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll usually pick it up at the bins. Mm -hmm. Siren Lily. So we just thought that this pattern was really nice with the, the birds on it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we yeah. can get 15 or $20 for mm -hmm. that. Okay, so this next piece is Chico's design. Chico's. So, There's a running joke here if you don't watch any of our other videos, but we only selectively choose Chico's. Mm -hmm. So we got this because it looked like something that Chico's woman would wear. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we'll see how it does. It's very unique. So I thought we'll give it a shot because unique is what sells online. Next, I found this really cute sweater with all these dogs. Yeah, it's so cute. And sweaters like this with different animals on them or just different designs, those sell pretty well um, yeah. for us, especially kind of the vintage style. So hopefully this will sell for about 20 to $25. And this single dog back there. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. I love um, things like that where you got cute little dog designs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next is this loft dress. No, it's a jumpsuit. <laughs> okay. A jumpsuit. So, we picked it up because it's a jumpsuit. And jumpsuits are sell pretty well, especially on Poshmark for some reason. And I think it's because people look for them, especially during the summer, to wear to weddings and things like that. To wear, you know, to parties. Because they're so much easier to wear than a dress. So. Mm. Yeah, it's all in one, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Zara Chafaluk again. Yeah, so another Zara piece. This is a little mini skirt. Okay, yeah, a mini skirt. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Yep. So just a kind of green faux suede mini skirt. So super cute. Next, we've got this Pure Jill sweater. Mm -hmm. So Pure Jill is another line in J. Jill, and it just means that it um, has nicer quality um, fabric content. And I think that this has some cashmere in it. So I think that's why. Yeah, 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. So a pretty good blend. Cashmere blend. <laughs> yeah. Next, we got this American Eagle pair of pants. Yeah, and these are just kind of a cargo pant. They have the button fly. And I just thought that they were really nice. Perfect for, you know, just wear out and about. So I picked those up. They'll sell for around 15 to $20. Next, we've got these Mark Fisher heels. And they need a little bit of TLC, but we got them. Yeah. But we thought that they were really nice, very classic. And, you know, everyone needs a good pair of black pumps. We've got another pair of Converse All-Stars. Mm -hmm. These are in pretty good condition, too. 
yeah, so again, we like to pick up Converse if they're in good condition because they'll sell for around $20. Okay, so this next item are these flip-flops and this is the brand Olukai. And we didn't realize that at the bins. We knew that we had seen that logo before. We didn't know what it was, so we used Google Lens, which you can find on the Google app on your phone. And if you, instead of typing in a search, you click, it almost looks like a little broken square. And if you click on that, you can take a picture and then it will search that picture online. So it's perfect mm -hmm. for when you're out um, thrifting and you don't know what a symbol means or if it means a certain brand or something, it's really helpful to find that. Yeah. Next, we have this Polo Ralph Lauren hand knit sweater. Yeah, this looks really cool. It's kind of a poncho and it's got this interesting design on there. So hopefully that will sell pretty well. We had some good luck selling a sweater by Ralph Lauren Polo that um, it was a really nice quality fabric. So hopefully this will kind of be in that same vein. Next, I found this really cool knit, I guess, top. Yeah, so it looks pretty vintage. Mm -hmm. um, and this really interesting colors and things and i just it's just so cool it like yeah. so old school next was this untuck it shirt mm -hmm. very classic white shirt yeah nice so untuck it is a good brand for button-ups most button-ups online don't sell very well but untuck it is kind of an exception and we sold an untuck it shirt before i think for around 20 dollars mm -hmm. So we've got this sweater vest by Bramble Lane, and it was knitted by hand. Yeah, so these sweater vests are pretty good. We've sold a good number of them. Um, it seems to be kind of a trend right now. And so we decided to take another risk on one. Mm -hmm. But I just think that they're really cool and funky. Next, we've got this shirt by Cheap Jeans. Mm -hmm. So it's just a basic chambray shirt but I figured that maybe I could sell it on my Instagram and it just seemed really high quality. Mm -hmm. The yeah. fabric of it and that hardware, the way that the name of the company is stamped in there. So we'll have to do a little bit more research, but I thought it looked nice. So I yeah, mixed it up. It's a really nice denim actually. Nice mm -hmm. and soft too. Okay. So next we've got another denim piece and they're these Wrangler 20X. And we recently sold one of these, right? Yes. Yeah, so we recently sold this Wrangler 20X, which apparently the 20X is the Rodeo line. So I don't know if that means that they sell better than regular Wranglers, but the last pair that we had sold very quickly, mm -hmm. like within a day or two days. So we decided to take another chance and buy another one since we had good luck the first time. Next is this Lavon. I guess. <laughs> I don't know if the brand really means anything, but look how cute it is with these penguins. Whoa. It's so fun. Nice. Yeah. So this kind of fleece jacket. I think these are so comfortable. So I picked that up figuring that someone would want that. Next up is this John Roberts. I believe this is also a jumpsuit. It is. From... Okay. Yeah. This is a really cool jumpsuit. I wish you could see what it looks like, like in fall, but it is just so cool. It's got these this interesting pattern and then mm. it's got these this like wide collar and it almost looks like a vest on the top i don't know it just is so funky and cool you would wear this and like walk into the party and everyone would be like you are so cool like everyone <laughs> would want to talk to you next we've got this pair of lululemon leggings yeah they're a real really cropped length as you can see so i'm not sure how well these are going to sell but so far we've sold all of our Lululemon yeah. um, pretty soon after we get it. So we decided to take a risk on it, even though it might not get quite as much as we, some other Lululemon would. Yeah. Next is this Banana Republic sweater. Mm -hmm. And I got it cause it's a really nice color. And I think that it is, yeah, extra fine Merino wool. Mm. So I figured that was a good fabric content. And so, so I pick that up. Next, we've got this Cabela's for kids, and they're these pants, camel pants. Yeah, and they have a bib detail at the top, and almost like overalls to 
hold it up for you. So these I think are meant for hunting or and, fishing, or fishing mm -hmm. I guess. Maybe. Yeah. But they seem more like they're for warmth rather than um, waterproof. But basically you wear these on the bottom and then you put the coat on top because it's really cold when you go out hunting because you have to start like really early in the yeah. morning. Next, we have this Madewell sweater. Mm -hmm. and we we love picking up Madewell. This is, you know, just kind of a classic piece, but Madewell sells pretty well for us. Um, usually around the 25 to $30 range. We've got this Land's End top. Mm -hmm. And we picked this up because it's 100% linen and Land's End has sold pretty well for us. So we're hoping to get about $20 for this top. We've got this Itty Bauer sweater. Yeah, and I thought this was a pretty good dupe for the Patagonia Better Sweater. <laughs> so I picked it up because I figured, you know, people might be looking for it. And it was a cool purple. So happy to pick that up. We're picking up a lot of sweaters. <laughs> I feel like we should probably stop soon. It's almost spring. Well, yeah. it's actually spring already by the time you watch this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's going to be summer soon. So yeah. we should probably stop. Yeah, do you guys up pick soon? up? sweaters and coats all year round or do you try to thrift more seasonally yeah. tell us what you think in the comments yeah next is this talbot sweater yeah it's tea by talbot tea which talbot. if you've seen any of our what sold videos you know that we like picking up tea by talbots because it seems to sell better than just regular talbots next we have this j jo dress yeah i thought this was really nice it seemed like something you could easily pull on it's really soft and so Fix that up, and yeah, I thought it was a nice pattern as well. Okay, so we're near the end, and this piece is a Lululemon piece. Yeah, so just a Lululemon tank top. So we will hopefully get about, you know, 15 to $20 for it, but Lululemon sells, so we picked up. Next, we're going to show you two accessories that we got, and if you've been watching for this long, please give us a thumbs up, and... Mm -hmm. If you haven't subscribed already, you might as well because you're really invested in this. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we'd really appreciate your subscription. But one of the accessories that we got was this pocketbook. Mm -hmm. And it's got this really interesting detail right there. Yeah, and it's all leather. And it's got this kiss closure. I think that's what it's called. Um, if you know what that kind of closure is called, let me know. But I think that it's called a kiss closure. closure or something similar to that. Mm. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It's obviously vintage, so hopefully we'll be able to find out a little bit more about it and give you some more information. Well, second, if you know what this brand is, yeah, then let definitely let us know because we are going to be doing a little bit of research, but your knowledge would be very helpful. It says yeah. Capri Glove Cowhide, so yeah. we'll show you that too. Yeah, and that's the only other marking other than this uh horseshoe. horseshoe on there so yeah. we'd love any information that you have okay second to the last thing of this haul is this pendleton bag mm -hmm. yeah i thought this was really cute um so it looks like just the perfect little crossbody and this you know kind of classic pendleton pattern on there so yeah there that is hopefully you can see that okay last but not least you've made it to the end and you should be rewarded. We have got, for the first time, Hoka 1-1s. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited about it. Especially because they're in good condition. And, interestingly enough, we got there a little mm -hmm. late, late in the day. And we know these bins have been picked over. Mm -hmm. and we still found this in one of the older bins. And mm -hmm. look, they're in great condition. They need a little yeah. bit of TLC, a little bit of cleaning but overall mm -hmm. in great condition. And so we are so excited to have found mm -hmm. this for the first time. And like I mentioned, I dreamt about hokas for the first time. It's so weird because I usually don't dream about thrifting, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess that's how you know we've been thrifting long enough. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. When we go to the bins, often we'll say, oh, I want to find this or I want to find that. And so Kanga told me that morning, he was like, last night I dreamt that when we went to the bins, I found hokas. Mm. And I was like, oh, interesting i want to find you know whatever and then when we got there we walked in and it was like the first bin that he looked in i was like yeah. oh my gosh yep you you can see the future <laughs> like, i manifested geez. it as yeah. they say so that was 37 pounds from 
the Goodwill outlet, aka the bins. So mm -hmm. he's paid $2.19 per pound. And so we're really excited to get all of this listed. If you are interested in anything from this haul, shoot us an email. Our email is down in the description down below. And if you've made it to the end, give this video a like and leave a comment of what your favorite thing from this haul was or any tips that you have yeah. for dreaming and <laughs> manifesting good items at the bins. Let us know. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all of you watching and subscribing. It means the world to us. And we are here to cheer you on. Keep that passion burning. We'll see you later. Bye.